This is a reminder how to execute the purl stitch. It is very similar to the knit stitch in that there are four steps, okay? So let's just do a quick reminder of the knit. When you're doing the knit stitch, you draw up into the stitch, you wrap around, you draw down the needle, right, to get out like that, and then you slip your stitch off, okay? So I'm just gonna put that stitch back. Now, the purl stitch is very similar, except you start with a draw down. So, I'm going to draw down into my stitch. I am going to grab the yarn from between the two legs of the needles here so that I can make sure it's in the front this time. Notice my bare needle is in the front, okay? So now I'm going to wrap around the needle just like we did the knit stitch, but this time I'm starting below the stitch down here and I'm drawing up the other needle to get into that stitch. I'm gonna push that like that so that it's on, and then I'm going to slip it off just like that, okay? So we're going to draw down to get into the stitch. We're going to wrap around that front needle. We're going to draw up to get out of that stitch. Then we're gonna slip it off. Draw down, wrap, draw up, and slip that off, okay? Now, it is difficult when you have a pattern before you've got muscle memory around this to switch from knitting and purling, okay? So just remember that, uh, and an eight-year-old told me this in class, when you purl, you have to dive down into the ocean to get your pearl, so then your wrap is getting your pearl. Then you start below the water, let's pretend this stitch is the surface of the water. You start below the water and then you come up for air, just like that. So that will help you differentiate the beginning of the uh, pearl stitch, which is uh, basically a mirror image of the knit stitch. And again, we're just gonna go all the way across here and we're going to purl our very last stitch and pull it off. Now, when you make a purl stitch, don't forget that your purl stitch, let's see if I can get this to focus a little on here, there we go. Your purl stitch makes a turtleneck facing you and on the other side, it makes the v-neck, okay? When you do a knit stitch, it makes the v-neck facing you and the purl on the back side. So we've just knit all the way across and you can see we have a whole bunch of very lovely pearls. And don't forget there's this giant guy on the end who's his, uh, his turtleneck is always way bigger than everybody else's. So don't forget that's normal. That is the purl stitch.